Certainly classical music isn't calming for all people. The species you are determines what's audible to you. But beyond that, we, we really all have different tastes and preferences. And um, I think other animals really have more diverse tastes and preferences than we normally give them credit for. That's Laurel Brightman. She's been putting on concerts for animals. No humans allowed. Britt Ray has her story. Laurel Brightman got interested in what music animals like because she was writing about how animals go mad. She researches their depressions and anxieties and says that captive animals generally suffer the most. And it's because captive animals have so much time on their hands. And if they, their minds aren't stimulated and challenged, they can end up with all kinds of disturbing behaviors. And, you know, boredom is a pretty extreme stressor. Laurel is a historian of science, but she's not just a researcher. She wants to enrich captive animals' lives by giving them something to do to occupy their time. About four years ago, she got an idea. I read an article that was published in the late 19th century called Music for Animals, and it was an article about all of the Victorian music concerts that had been performed for other animals. Things like uh, concerts for elephants in Paris or milkmaids um, singing to the cows while they were milking them. And I got interested in the idea of what would happen if I decided to do this now. And now, over 100 years later, Laurel throws concerts for all kinds of animals. For example... I had the band Grass Widow come to Boston and play for the gorillas at Franklin Park Zoo. Jason Holt of the UK band Spectrum came and droned for sea lions on the California coast. Good Shield Aguilar is a native musician, played for the buffalo in Golden Gate Park. I don't ever open these up to human audiences. The whole point is that it's a concert for other creatures. And it's on her own dime. There's no research funding. Until we teach the animals capitalism, I don't expect to be collecting any money at the door. Uh, so I can't pay anyone. I haven't been paid. And everyone who's helped me with these has, has donated their time. You wish you were. The most recent concert was by Black Prairie, a bluegrass-inspired group from Portland, Oregon. They played for 52 wolves at a sanctuary called Wolf Haven in Washington State. 